Hey guys, vlog 9 of 2017 and uh, you know what, I actually made another video uh, and it was really nice, the lighting was great, I used my pro camera but then I didn't have my card reader and then it became completely irrelevant because it was a video of me basically going through the oh my god what am I going to do, I'm at a fork in the road, I need to make a decision and I was talking about like what do you do when you when you have to decide between doing something that you know career wise you're comfortable with you become great at everybody you know knows you're good at it you it it, it gives you your you know your livelihood your money it, it brings in like it supports you and you've got to choose between that and like a complete other you know risk which is, you know, basically doing what you really, really, really love and want to do. So, um, what happened was yesterday, the day before yesterday. Oh my goodness. I think it was yesterday. No, Friday. Friday, I made a crazy, huge, life-changing decision. And I decided that I would finally close the chapter of my life of running my own photography business. I said goodbye to having my photography business. Now listen, that doesn't mean I'm not a photographer because I, I mean, I'll always be a photographer. I'm just not, I'm not going to run a business under my name anymore. Uh, so, I mean, I might here and there grab a few jobs, but it's not because I hate photography. I don't want you to think that I suddenly dislike photography. It's because I've been for too long hanging on to photography for security and allowing that to stop me from fully devoting myself to what I really want to do, which is essentially um, life coaching, public speaking, and really just helping people. And you know, some might say, well, can't you do both? Can you do photography? I mean, how can you refuse like a $2,000 gig, for example, a wedding? Why would you refuse that? The problem is that if I keep falling back onto that and I keep depending onto that and I keep tying up my time with those responsibilities, I'm never giving myself 100% to what I really want to do. That's, that's basically the issue. Um, so I made that decision on Friday and I got to say it was one of the scariest <laughs> decisions I've ever made in my life. Um, it was very frightening and when I finally made a decision I was on the phone with a, a colleague of mine, somebody who I was actually thinking of partnering up with in photography and on the phone I said I think this is it. I think I just made up my mind. I think I just made my decision and he was like yeah I think you have and I was like, oh my gosh, there's like, I'm no longer standing on anything. Like my rock that I've built um, is gone. But at the same time, I felt like the biggest weight of the world had been lifted off my shoulders. And I felt basically like someone had just given me a key and, and set me free to fully be who I am and fully like run after my calling. So, um... I, you know, I announced, I, I had a letter that I wrote on Facebook, which was a letter that I wrote a few days ago. Um, you know, I, the last three, three weeks, three, four weeks, I like, I dove into, um, a, a major depressive episode and I, I'm saying I wasn't myself at all. It was really, really hard. Uh, it was like, I cannot express how hard it was, uh, I was having terrible nightmares. I couldn't sleep at night. Uh, I was starting to cry many times throughout the day. I I was beating myself up constantly in my head. I I had no energy. Like it was awful. Okay, it was it was suffering. Um, and you know, so many people pulled through and helped me get through this. I couldn't work. I I did try a few times, and I feel terrible because that was an attempt that I shouldn't have attempted because I wasn't at my 100% and I couldn't give my 100%. And, you know, since then I've 
consulted a doctor, I've gotten a little bit of therapy, and, you know, uh, I had some medication, uh, a little change to my medication, and something to help me with my sleep, and it's been maybe four or five days now, I'm starting to feel so much better, I'm starting to find myself again, and I'm like, thank God, because it was starting to get really heavy, but um, it's a new year, and it started off really damn rough because of the depression that I was experiencing. But at the same time, um, you know, I have this new person in my life, and he's been just phenomenal uh, as a support. I just never expected that at all. I was expecting the opposite. Um, you know, you kind of turn into like a psychotic monster. <laughs> You expect people to run away, but that's not what happened at all. Uh, so I'm really lucky, and I'm blessed. And, you know, I do still have a few contracts with photography clients, and I'm really excited to to do those as well. Um, you know, I'll probably still dabble a little bit in it once in a while, just, you know, helping colleagues here and there, and just for myself. Mm. I might try to, like, connect something, in, like, emotionally, you know, maybe do some self-expression in photography, and I'm definitely still up for teaching photography because that I love, and that just simply brings me joy. I love, love teaching photography. So I'll probably still do a few workshops and all that. Um, yeah, so, wow, new, totally new year, and I <laughs> just feel like I've got a blank canvas, and everyone's like, so what are you going to do? And I'm like... I'll figure it out. Uh, I, I took a huge step of faith and I do have faith that I'm doing the right thing. And if you listen to any of the greatest people out there, you're going to see and you listen to their stories, they all came to a point at one point where they had to make a choice between continuing in the comfort zone that they were in, the security that they had found, continuing with the jobs that they were great at, that they were good at, that everyone thought that they should continue doing, and they had to decide, go against the grain of things, and do what they wanted to do, do what was in their hearts to do, and now, you know, it's amazing for them. I'm not saying it's like that for everybody, but if you do listen to the people who made it, you're going to see that a lot of their stories sounded like that. So I try to be brave for you guys, and I'm trying to be brave for me, uh, and for my family, for my kids. I want my kids to see that I'm choosing to do things that I'm passionate about and that I love and that make me happy. I, I, I'm not choosing to stay in something that I'm absolutely stuck in. Uh, I have faith. Trust me, it takes faith. It's not like, it's not like I was handed over a silver platter of like, everything's going to be fine, Adine. You do this move and nothing is going to be disastrous. There could be a disaster. I hope to God no. But like, I'm willing to take that risk. I took a risk. I'm taking a risk to go after my dream. Here I go, and I hope you're ready for it. I feel so much better. I thank you, all of you, so much for all of your words, all of your support. Um, I just am blown away by how much time people take to just actually write a comment to me. It's just so touching. I I feel really humbled by it, and um, I want to give back. Every single day, I want to give back to to people, and I want to help people um, that's, you know, that's what I've just freed myself to do to help people. So here I come.